This conference will now be recorded. Uh, hello everyone. Uh, I'm Srinivas. I'm the trainer for I2C protocol and I2C controller design and verification course. Uh, this short video is about the overview of this I2C course. Uh, basically, as part of this course, uh, we will be learning uh, I square C protocol. I mean, all the aspects of I square C protocol, the architecture of an I square C based uh, system and what are the various components and uh, how the communication between master and slaves happen and uh, what are the signals that are involved in I square C like the what is the significance of SCL, SDA and uh, how does the timing diagram look like for write scenario and read scenario. So all those aspects we'll be discussing in detail. Then once we are done with the I square C protocol, we'll be moving to learning the I square C controller very lock coding. I mean, we'll understand what is I square C controller and what what is I square C slave. I mean, controller also we can call it as I square C master. So we will be doing the very log RTL coding for that. Uh, with uh, this controller, will have two interfaces. One is the APB interface. One is the I square C interface. So as part of that, we'll be implementing that very log RTL coding with some address and data and control registers implemented as part of the I square C controller. And uh, also will be to verify that RTL will be developing a very log based test bench. And uh, as part of that, we'll be developing few write and read test cases. Now in the third activity, we'll be doing the same I2C, I square C controller verification using system very log and UVM based test bench. Uh, here also we'll be doing the same thing. We'll be setting up the entire test bench. So here the interesting point will be, uh, we have the I square C controller. So with one APB on one side, I square C slave interface on the other side. So here we'll be setting up this entire test bench where we'll have the APB master and the I square C slave implemented. Uh, so the, the participants will get exposure to how to develop this UVC, how to develop this slave component and how to integrate, how to do the test cases where I configure the registers here that I square C transfers happen and how do we read back the data. So all that aspects will be covered as part of the SVUVM based test bench environment. And uh, this will also, I mean, I square C is a, a bit complex protocol compared to other uh, protocols like SP and uh, UART because I square C has one signal STA, which is a bi-directional port, which makes the things more complex compared to other protocols. Even though it's uses only two, two pins like SCL, STA, but the implementation wise, it has got a lot of complexity because of this bi-directional nature of the STA. So all those aspects will be discussed in depth in this course.